notch. I think the ball's jumping out of his hand probably, you know, is as good as it ever has. Um, you know, I think even uh, from being able to rest, I think some of his other, you know, just his whole body, you know, I think is, is fresh, you know, and you can see that. And, and uh, he's attacking it and, and has a lot of confidence in it. So uh, one day at a time, but so far so good. You've heard Coach Kleiman use the word, uh, the phrase, two starters with him and Will coming back. What, what's your perspective on, you know, playing two guys if they're both uh, proven that they're worth playing time for Well, shoot, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I think I'm here and there with it. You know, honestly, I think, um, you know, we're going to put the best guy out there and and if, if there's a skill set or, or a niche to, to make it blend together, then uh, great. But, you know, shoot, I know I know both those guys are competitors and, and will do anything that, you know, the team needs to be successful. And, um, you know, whoever's going to provide us the best opportunity in that situation or whatever, you know, uh, he'll, he'll be out there. What do you think from Malik Knowles? You know what? Uh, very proud of Malik. I mean, he's really... Uh, he put in a great summer. Uh, you can tell he's in uh, really good shape. Um, he's really uh, upped his, uh, you know, his study efforts and has been busting his butt in the film room, and, and it's showing up. I mean, he's making plays and playing fast and confident, and, and uh, I'm really excited about some of the things he's doing. The first year you had Tyler and everyone being used to that, you know, Coach Mathis' new offense, and the last year it was with the two freshman quarterback. Does it feel like this is kind of the first time that you guys can unlock everything as an entire offense? Yeah, you know, I, I think comfortability from my room uh, with what you're talking about is is, is obviously m much better than it's been, you know. And and like you said, from you know what we were having to go through last year, having a basically first year player again, um, you know, both those guys have, have studied their butts off, they've prepared, and uh, you know, I think we're, we're we're having fun out there, you know, and able to not be so stressed out about trying to make sure everyone, you know, figure out where everyone's going and, and be able to truly express it and, and play fast, which both of them have, have done a great job with that. Colin, having played yourself, what kind of expectations do you have for the scenario that Will put in last year, how he handled it, and what yeah. he is today? Uh, unbelievable. And, and he is, uh, he's going to be a heck of a football player, but he's a heck of an individual, as you guys probably already know. Um, and, and his character and, and mental fortitude are, are off the charts because that's a, it was a tough gig last year, you know, and, and all the dynamics our whole team was thrown and, and he was thrown into and uh, to not crack, to come every day, compete his butt off uh, was, uh, was inspiring, quite honestly. And, and he's, uh, he's an unbelievable young man and, and because of that character and fortitude he has, he's, he's going to be stronger because of that. Uh, a lot of people would crack. Did no, you good. surprise you in, I guess I'll, I don't know if this is the right terminology or the way to put it, did he surprise you in the way he kind of reshaped his body from last season to this? You know, not really. I mean, even, even uh, he was making progress even towards the season. I mean, even, you know, towards week three or four, whenever that had happened, he had already had, had a 10-pound swing, muscle-to-fat ratio, and was trending that way just hadn't even had a full training cycle without spring, without summer, you know? And so we knew that, hey, there's a lot of potential there, but I mean, shoot, credit to him. He's worked his butt off and he looks good and, you know, on his feet and, and uh, he's doing a good job. I know it's early, but have you seen a difference in team chemistry from the end of last year to now? Uh, I, I think everybody, uh, yes. You know, I, I think it's, uh, uh, I think everybody is, is gelled together um, I think we've uh, everyone is a lot more focused on uh, the guy next to him and, and not just themselves. And, and I think uh, obviously a, a lot of uh, isolation last year doesn't help that. But um, no, I, I think they've all made a great effort towards that, and, and we're moving in the right direction. Have you gotten used to number seven as opposed to number ten yet? Sometimes I still slip and call him ten because it's just it's <laughs> it's in my mind. <laughs> but uh, but no, I it, I love it. it. It looks great on him. Yeah, I, I think uh, man, the game slowed down for him, so he's, uh, again, just processing, making decisions uh, quicker. Uh, and then his strength. I mean, the, the ball's coming out of his hand. 
you know, better and, and his lower body strength is, has improved in core. So um, I think those two things, when it's coming out of your hand faster and the game's slowing down, that's a, that's a really good combination when you're back there. All right, guys, thanks. All right, thank thanks you guys.